the medical regulator and Victoria Police have raided the clinic of an anti-vax Melbourne GP, seizing computers and patients' files. Dr John Pierce, who is temporarily suspended while being investigated for helping parents sidestep the no-jab, no-play laws, said police and the Australian Health Practitioner Regulation Agency raided the Nerida James Natural Healing Centre in Mitchum on Friday morning. I have been informed that the officers were raided, Dr. P.S. said. They took computers used for appointments, accounting and diagnostics. None of those computers have patients' records on them. They stole a lot of my manual files which had the patients' records. A spokeswoman for the medical regulator confirmed the raid occurred, but would not give any details. In the course of our work opera staff attended a premises yesterday, she said. Because this was part of an ongoing investigation we cannot comment further. A spokeswoman for Victoria Police would only say they accompanied the medical regulator to the practice. Dr. P.S., who wasn't at the clinic at the time, said patients had to be turned away as the raid continued all day. I am horrified, but on the other hand I understand APRA has been doing some really horrible things against doctors who are not mainstream and who practice differently, he said. The department should have a reasonable discussion with me. Instead, they start a trial by media and issue all these nasty allegations against me, and then, plan a politically motivated attack on me for the simple reason that I support parents who have very good reason for not wanting to vaccinate. Last week, Dr. P.S. agreed to temporarily stop practicing as a doctor after being advised his medical registration could be suspended after medical authorities launched an investigation into his registration. The GP has previously been reprimanded by the regulator. In August, Dr. P.S. and his colleague, naturopath Nerida James, attended a screening of the controversial anti vaccination film Vaxed in Hawthorne where he told participants there were ways in which parents could get vaccination exemptions and he knew of other doctors who were providing them. Under no jab, no play legislation introduced in 2016, childcare services and kindergartens must first obtain evidence that a child is fully immunized for their age, or on a catch-up vaccination program, or is unable to be fully immunized for medical reasons before enrolling them. Many parents involved in the anti-vaccination movement fear a link between the measles, mumps and rubella vaccine and autism. Such a link was first suggested in 1998 by UK researcher Andrew Wakefield. His research, which was based on only 12 children, has since been disproved and retracted. Victoria's health department first raised concerns with the regulator over Dr. P.S. after he wrote to the health minister in August 2016 to apply for exemptions. Victorian health minister Jill Hennessy said she was deeply concerned Dr. P.S. had continued to practice after years of disregard for community safety. His arrogant boasts against vaccination are frustrating and irresponsible, Ms. Hennessy said. It is completely irresponsible for people particularly clinicians who are entrusted with the health of our community, to ignore the science and encourage parents not to immunize their children. Ms. Hennessy said practitioners who peddle lies and misinformation about immunization put the health and safety of children at great risk. They must be stopped and punished appropriately, she said. OPRA's current undertaking an investigation onto Dr. P.S.'s registration is a step in the right direction. Federal Health Minister Greg Hunt has warned that any registered doctors who advocate against vaccination will have the full force of the authorities come down on them. There will be no sympathy, none at all, from the government if the authorities take the strongest possible decisions.